in spades. I'm All afraid. right, everybody ready? Okay, uh, three, two, one, let's go. You're Maybe. listening to Just Okay Gamers, where this week, guys, Star Wars just came out. And I am so excited to see this. Are you guys excited? Gotta see it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're sitting in the theater. Uh, I don't know why you're announcing that it just came out to us. <laughs> and we well, because I'm it together. I, I mean, I just want to make sure that you guys are excited. Like, it's about to start. You know, they're are playing. Cool with no, us. we know. Yeah, we're we playing trivia right now. We've been playing trivia right now. You know, the, the pre movie trivia is always the best. And, you know, uh, I think. Oh, oh, I love oh, it. Shh, shh, I think here, here it comes. Oh, okay. What? Oh, okay. The fuck is that logo it's what? it's it's it's, it's a letter logo. inside another letter <laughs> it's a congressional budget office <laughs> what <laughs> what are they doing wait, wait no no it's the fcc the fuck is this the fcc oh no what's happening it's it's her 20 dollars we have to we have to pay more to watch the movie is this the net neutrality thing did i already fucking buy uh, a ticket oh this is worse than y2k you, a jeep pie Topical. We're just okay <laughs> and play some games. We're just okay gamers. Oh, Wait. God, that was horrible. Yeah, well, whatever. Do you want to redo it? No, we're fucking going forward with that. I don't Okay, let's fuck. just okay. keep it. Yeah, uh, I like it. No editing. That's what Guido taught us, right? Yeah, that's yeah, one no thing editing. that we've no learned. Editing. We don't care about editing, and we never fucking will. <laughs> uh, that's hi, uh... What's going on, everybody? How you doing? Good man, how yeah. are you? How's your evening? How's your day? How's it, your week? It's going your... well. Um, you're listening to episode two thirty six, two three six of the Just Okay Gamers podcast. There, now that that's a little bit better on how it goes, right? How's it, everybody? It how's everybody? Uh, pretty close. No, you're some... supposed to do. We're supposed to go through the who are, who we are. Yeah, yeah, oh, who we are. But I also need to go two three six after I go two three six. Oh yeah, uh, that's you. Nope, not doing that. <gasps> okay, it's ending. Now. Guido is turning no, over I'm, in his grave. I'm good. I'm, I'm good with that. Actually, I'm good with that. By the way, Guido is dead. Yeah, yeah Guido's dead. dead. And t- this week, it, we're just here uh, with myself, Nasty, and and Wally, <laughs> and Bill Pool. What's <laughs> up, guys? <laughs> we're so bad at this shit. No, oh, we're not. Listen, it's not. We're not. Guido, we're good. Our rhythm's Guido, off. Guido, ho- Guido said that he hopes we crash and burn tonight, so we yeah. have to prove him wrong. We have to we, prove him wrong. Very true. Very that true. we can do this on our own. Yeah, as long as we don't go to uh, Grandpa Suicide's farm, this <laughs> podcast, I think we'll do well. <laughs> we just edit out the video, and it's just two hours of Jay singing rap cut. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Shout out to one of our listener friends. Um, yeah. So, how was everybody's weeks this week? Uh, Christmas shopping is done, wrapped, everything's sent out. Uh, did some uh, Christmas cookie making with 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 uh, my wife, and we had uh, made some snickerdoodles uh, and also some red velvet cookies with powdered sugar. Nice, nice. Sounds no. good. That's a lot of Christmas. Yeah, that's too much Christmas. Fuck yeah, it's a lot of Christmas. Christmas. There could never be enough Christmas. Fuck that, dude. I don't like also, Christmas. I have not been, I have not listened to uh this uh the, the Wham song. I have not been I have I am a survivor of Whamageddon. I have not heard it yet. <laughs> I don't think I have either yet. That's good. I chalk Although... it mostly to a carefully curated Spotify list on the way home from work. Good. Yeah. Do you listen to Christmas music? This time of year, have you been listening to Christmas music? Not intentionally, no. Not unless I catch it, like, you know, in the lobby of where I work or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, if I, the only place I've heard it is occasionally on the radio, and I immediately change the station, because I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> oh, dude, do I? Pretty much ever, like, unless I'm at home with my family on Christmas Day, that is the only acceptable time for me to listen to I Christmas agree. music. Good. And when I do listen to Christmas music, I go old school. I'm talking like Bing Crosby, Sinatra, Dean Martin. Mm. I like like, thir- like 1930 to 1950, and then anything after that I just trash. Yeah, some like uh, juicy love in your ears. The old silky old man <laughs> juice, voices. Juice, wait, who's juicy love? Juicy love, <laughs> juicy <laughs> love, love? dude. <laughs> Is that that sounds like a rapper? 
Oh, no, that was... Well, I mean, that w- that probably would be one of their rapper names if they if they did rap. But I just think of them as, like, you know, old school, like, I don't know, flowy, silky, smooth love in my ears when I hear their voices. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. Vel- Velvet Fog. Mm. Beautiful. Even, <laughs> even the that? words Velvet Fog sounds beautiful. Mel Torme. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mel Torme. That's, uh... uh from Seinfeld. That's how I know Mel Torme. I think, right? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no wait, just, what is that terrible. from? No, no, it's Seinfeld. When uh, is it Kramer, Seinfeld? Yeah, they think Kramer is retarded kid. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> You're a though? very special young man. You're not so bad yourself. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah. My week was boring, what? so yeah, <laughs> I didn't do anything. Nothing at all. I mean, I played that's... some WoW. That was about it. That's the highlight of my week. Guido and I kind of broed out before he had to go on his shit schedule. Um, yeah. That was, that was pretty much the extent of my week besides work, like a normal person. Mm, yeah. Did mostly work, too, beside from the festivity related, which I don't get to actually, you know, we do all this work for Christmas, right? I know not everyone's completed it yet, but I mean, like, all this shopping and wrapping and doing, and nine times out of ten, it's for stuff you can't enjoy until Christmas. Right. It's a very fr- front-loaded holiday. Yes. I don't even do... I resent that. I don't even do shopping. Like, I don't bother with Christmas shopping. I try to offload it on my sister or my mom as much as possible. And then I say, yeah, I'll just, like, pitch in for one of those gifts that you guys are buying. Because, yeah, I don't feel like doing it myself. Here's an oddball question. Really? Right? Wow. You guys that's, I mean, video? that's the way to do it, I guess. Yeah. Have we heard of what? If you do anything video game related, like, are you buying anything for yourself or someone else that it's actually in our wheelhouse? Because I feel like all mm. I've been doing is buying, like, candles and socks and shit. Oh, candles and socks go to. Um, <laughs> for real, like, everybody's like, what do you want? I was like, I don't know, maybe some work socks, some cool work socks, something that looks Oh, dude, crazy. work. Talk about welcome to adulthood, right? I right. want some fucking, like, work socks. <laughs> and everybody's like, well, what should I get Rachel? And I'm like, I don't know, maybe some candles, things that smell good, make the house smell good, you know? Like, <laughs> seriously, the only two things that I keep asking for, candles and socks. Candles and socks? Yeah, I feel like those two are candles safe and facts. socks. Everybody needs <laughs> socks, and everybody likes their house to smell good. And Bill, is there anything yeah, about Christmas I... you can talk about that's safe? that's safe i mean like uh, are they gonna buy some stuff for jen i'm not sure if you don't want to oh <laughs> yeah no i'm i have barely done any shopping so far um, yeah okay i have like some lists but that's about as far as i've gotten i tried to go out shopping today uh but i didn't make a lot of progress i'm really bad with uh christmas shopping you should go online with buying people gifts i know that's i think that's what i'm gonna do this year and I say this every year, I'm going to buy everything online. I guarantee uh, you'll love it. But I think this is the year that, yeah, Amazon. That it actually Amazonprime.com. They'll even fucking yeah. wrap that shit for you. Yeah. Isn't that the It's truth? a little simple, but yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like $5, they'll wrap it. I'm done. I'm good. I mean, yeah. it's not fancy or anything, but come on. Sometimes when you're at a pinch. Right. Like, who actually cares? You just throw some wrapping paper. Like, it's already wrapped. You just got to go get, like, a little card to go on top of it and personalize it a little bit. Right? Absolutely. I guess yeah. so. What are the hot gifts this year? Are there any hot gifts that everyone wants? Probably mm. a Switch. Like, for Switch. the kids. A Switch, yeah. PS4s were going pretty fast off the shelf. Oh, the I'm sure them ones. too. Yeah. yeah. 4K TVs, for some reason. Seem to be a big thing. <laughs> yeah, those are getting pretty cheap too. Yeah, I saw one going for three hundred bucks. I'm like, mm, maybe next year. I guess my, I I did buy myself something because I bought myself a 4K TV and a Switch. So oh yeah, okay. both of those were gifts to myself. That's a nice little gift. We just got a yeah. 4K TV. Uh, not too nice ago as well. They're so cheap I, now. Yeah, they're really cheap. They are. I'm really gonna have to figure out a way of breaking the TV. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to. Just put it as a second TV monitor. I'm know? running out. Of, I, I have these. T, I every single. I, I buy Samsungs. I don't know if that's just like the result or what, but I've never had a TV break. So if I buy another TV, I'm gonna have to invent something to do. Yeah, because it's not that hard to break a TV. But I like right. the idea of you like planning something really elaborate, <laughs> so it looks like an accident. 
I yeah, to, yeah, really elaborate. Yeah. Oh like, no! How could that have happened? Put a dog toy near the TV, just that way. If you accidentally <laughs> step on it and fall into your TV, then you have a reason to say that you need to go get a new one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's, that's actually not a bad plan. But do your best not to roll like, your ankle and like end up at the hospital because I don't think a new TV is worth a hospital trip. No, definitely not. Although, unless the hospital has nice TVs and, yeah, and, like, and you can just steal one from the stuff. hospital. That yeah, you could just, just steal the game systems from the kids. Do you guys have a children's right hospital near Christmas? Yeah. Uh, probably. We, we got a fat one. Like This thing that like, makes money. It's the nationwide, as in nationwide insurance, mm-hmm. children's hospital. That thing is rolling in dough. And I've seen some of those like intensive care, high-end units for kids, sick kids. Man, those, <laughs> those sick kids got some sweet-ass dicks. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe and I mean, let's be honest, time. they're not going to be able to play it for very much longer. So <laughs> you might as well, you might as well just take it, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like after they're gone, just you know, have like like, like a warehousing thing. Yeah. yeah, you know, like they say, you can't take it with you. So where are all the dead yeah. dead kid deals? There should there should be a website like a clearinghouse for children's toys after they die. Dead sick kid kids. deals. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, where does it go? I mean, seriously. I mean, it's, if it's just going to go to Goodwill, that's a waste. You know, put it out on a website. Make some, like, you know, like, four-year-old, like, my, like my eight-year-old died of cancer. Here's his Xbox. I don't even want to look at it. It's bringing out too many bad memories. But for you, it's a bargain. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, he's not I don't know if really that hair now. makes this better or worse. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, Merry fucking Christmas. <laughs> Merry fucking Christmas. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? fuck it'll be a it'll be a hobo bindle spinoff site yeah on that yeah. note uh, sh- should we talk wait, about no. games no you, <laughs> wait, you got I, something ho- yeah i think hobo bindle has run out or is running <gasps> out soon oh fuck. Don't tell i don't know that. i got an email recently saying like uh your domain name is not going to be renewed because i was paying like 13 bucks a year for hobo bindle.com like, why am i even doing that <laughs> so i canceled That's it been at for some three point years I think I canceled it like six months ago and then I forgot about it. But it Solid. doesn't run out until. Yeah. So I, go to hobobindle.com <laughs> while you can. <laughs> did anybody like even go there or use it? Have we seen um, stats on it? I think, yeah, because that stuff shows up on Google Analytics. Uh, and the last time I checked it was a while ago, but I think there was like a few hits from that. Nice. So, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it paid for itself. I really have no idea. I should probably check the stats on it. Oh, jeez. It, it might be like 100% of our listenership. <laughs> yeah. It's all hobos. All. It's all hobos. <laughs> we never knew. We never knew. Oh. All right. Yeah. That's all I had to say. Speaking of the internet, I don't have any uh, any segues. Actually, maybe I do. But let's oh, no. just segue. Well, can just, we just sing our own segue? Yeah, we yeah, can make yeah. one up. Oh, yeah, okay. make a one up. I'll make a, I'll make a one up. <laughs> All right, someone do the beat. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's pretty uh, fast. Uh, uh, we about to segue. Uh, segue hey, I said uh, segue. Segue. Uh, about to segue. Segue into the future. Yeah. All right, there's our All segue. Right. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> I miss making our own fucking segues. I know, like, right? Like that's where listener of the week came from. <laughs> <laughs> that's we have people, the, sh- the shit, yeah, the shit that people like the just voice over computer voices. Idiot listeners send us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this shit's fire. <laughs> oh, this, okay, see good. the shit that we do when Guido's not here, right? Like How we would Yeah, that. it's so much more fun. Yeah. <laughs> Spreading our goddamn wings a little bit. Uh, sh- should we lead with the thing that everybody wants us to talk about? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, game of the year. The game mm-hmm. awards oh. have happened. That's not where I thought you were going with that. <laughs> everybody was watching the game awards, which we actually found out everybody? were a spinoff of Spike TV old game awards that they used to do um yeah and and what what do you guys think won i know it won yeah so i mean to just tell you what yeah won? just tell us Bill, yeah. what won <laughs> uh zelda breath of the wild won whoa shit 
<laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Did you see this coming or not really? Oh, eh, pretty good chance. Yeah. Some of the lead contenders were all Nintendo games, right? Yes. So, hmm. There was a majority well, was, of Yeah, that and Mario and uh, PUBG. Yep. And I, I, would, I, I would almost say that uh, Zelda is probably one of the most beloved games of the last year. Yes. I, I think it, it was due a lot to the timing and when it came out, right? Like, it came out Q1, also was backed by a console release, but was mm-hmm. backwards compatible for existing consoles that were out there. So I think that Nintendo really set themselves up for a wide range of players and also built a good amount of hype around more than just the game itself, you know? It was a streaming darling, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, uh, I think it was also a good game, though, as well. <laughs> it also happened to be good. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm just saying that there's a lot of good games out there, and I think that a lot of, a lot yeah. of the times good games get overlooked because there isn't enough marketing hype or reason why is that it came out at the same time as another good game as well you know like yeah Yeah. uh so their contenders were uh, zelda uh mario odyssey PUBG, uh persona 5 and horizon zero dawn nice so yeah i i need to play some more zelda breath of the wild i have it on the switch yeah i've been meaning to how far are you yeah um i don't know geez i pr- I put like 30 or 40 hours into it uh, i did not beat it um and yeah i've been meaning to go back to it yeah i'm sitting at like 15 hours right now yeah uh it's it's really good i forget why i put it down i think i got distracted by it some other game yeah it came along same i got distracted by mario odyssey because it came out like two weeks after i got the switch so it was stardew valley and zelda at the same time and then mario odyssey kind of took over both of those yeah that's but fair uh, there's odyssey. a lot of games uh there's a lot of games that i've been meaning to play this month but right. there's so many of them and now we have to do game of the month too and just, uh, there's just too many games man there's a lot of games yeah that's i'm everything right now though right like game the games in general i feel like there's so many more games available to us so, so what do we do a lot of us we fire up world of warcraft yep 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 that's exactly <laughs> what I'm, i did i said i'm guilty fuck my choices i want to play one fucking game and that's it why is it so good it's so good i've been playing the, some of the new legion content and it's just i almost feel bad for leaving because it's they added a lot of cool stuff i'm enjoying myself yeah. You're doing the front end stuff. I mean, I, I get that. It's fun just to do that leveling with Guido and everybody to kind of do like a group buddy dungeon crawl thing. But I log back into my old character and Lordy, it's fun. Yeah, I, I'm enjoying it. Um, they're talking about changing the leveling system coming up here soon. It's not changed yet. You know, I'm excited for that. But I just, I don't know, something about WoW is just relaxing. You know, it's a game that I can fire up and do nothing in or do something in or just like watch Netflix at the same time while doing it or get competitive or play PvP. I think it's just the variety of stuff that you can do. But they're changing the leveling system and wow, after all this time. Yeah. What are they doing? um, So the current way of it is that you have your zones that are like, you know, 10 through 20, 20 through 30, 30 through 40. Um, but usually with the amount of XP that's required and heirlooms, you'll get maybe three or four quests into that zone and then have to like go find another zone in order to pick up quests and kill stuff that's in your level range. So they're making it so all the 1 through 60 um, area scales with you so you can actually follow like the quest line or something else that you want to do or just go kill mobs that actually are worth something instead of just killing things that you're way over leveled for. Um, and they're also uh, scaling back the heirlooms early on to kind of make it feel like you actually have to play the game, not that you're just like like I was doing, just running around, dotting things up, and just continuing to run. And that's basically all that I did for five hours. Huh. Okay. So it'll <laughs> add time. I mean, it's not like anything crazy, 
Um, I just think it, it makes you actually play your character for what it is instead of pressing like that one button the whole time for like yeah. five hours while running around doing nothing. Yeah. And learn your character. I, I don't care about WoW. Well. <laughs> I know you don't. It's okay. <laughs> so I'm just like, trying to feign it, interest. It, it never clicked with you when I think I write it. We, we get it. We know. No. We, yeah. That's fine. I, I don't know. It's all good, man. It uh, is fine. Yeah. I... That, yeah, I don't know. That game just it's okay. But like every MMO that I play, I kind of want to play at my own pace and uh that just is not the best way to play the game because then I just play by myself. Right. Um but when I play with other people, it's fun, but also like everyone is usually more experienced than me, so they're like running way ahead of me and i'm i just get kind of left behind and kind of lost especially like, that game. Uh, oh we beat the we beat the dungeon but i didn't really know what i was doing right and i i think that a lot of these changes will pull back from that because it's going to actually involve a group to get through dungeons again at your mm-hmm. level it's not just like one person can carry the whole five-man dungeon at their level you have to Everything scales now, you know, so if I'm at level 30 and it's a level 20 dungeon, I'll be scaled down to level 20 or the content will be scaled up to level 30. I forget exactly how they're going to do it. So basically, it's like you're always challenged instead of just mindlessly rolling through stuff and not not feeling like you have a part to play in it. Because I definitely feel the same way, too, now, like as a healer rolling through dungeons is like, I don't even need to do anything. I literally can do nothing. But that's enough about WoW. We can move on. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, PC What's, gamer uh, of the year. Ooh. PC gamers game of the year. Yeah. Did you guys play? Did you guys play this game before we I reveal what it is? No, I did okay. not. It's my shame. <laughs> did you nasty? I played uh, about five hours of it, and that's as far as I okay. got. Would you like to I tell people what we're talking about? Cover to cover of Dest of uh, Divinity. Sorry, Destiny. Divinity Two. I, I played a shitload of it. Like I know, right? I Imagine made a lot if of it, Destiny like, won. Oh my god, the outcry! <laughs> People would be so mad. <laughs> yeah, be, uh... if it won Game of the Year and then a week later dropped that shit patch they dropped last week. Oh, dude! <laughs> oh, that would have been so bad. Just in general, everyone's so mad at that game. But that's a different. We've we've beat that horse. Yeah. But uh, Divinity Two. I mean, uh, I'd go. I think we talked about it a lot. You know, Guido and I both have because we both are really into that game, but I'm glad it's, I'm glad it won. Um, that was my vote. I think, uh, that was, I, I kind of, I don't know if you guys mentioned my vote since that was the week I was gone. Right. But, uh, but yeah, it's CRPG, man, a CRPG won game of the year in 2017. That is so huge. Speaking as an old, you know, late eighties, early nineties PC gamer back in the, you know, the dark ages, that's such an old genre to resurrect. The fact that it's doing so well, I'm super stoked. I hope it means that more people will make more CRPGs, like uh, Pillars of Eternity, right? And uh, 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 T- a Tyrant, and a few. You know, I just they're they're poking their heads out. Every you know, in in the kind of like an homage to classics like Baldur's Gate and stuff. But uh, I'm hoping that's a sign of the future. Yeah. What does the C stand for? Computer. Oh. It, it's it makes it, sense. Wait, isn't that a board game? <laughs> well, yeah, it's CRPG is a way of signifying that you're old as fuck, I guess. But essentially, it's <laughs> it, it's just it's an yeah. RPG that's like usually an isometric view, or a classic dungeon pathway path view, uh, with you know standard you know healer tank, mm-hmm. whatever classes that you explore a larger, broader narrative, and there's usually a deep uh, system at play that's running all the combat. And everything like like I guess a more contemporaneous example of that like a like a middling game between the old and the new would be um uh what's the game with the with the Pip Boy and everything it's uh, Fallout uh, Fallout, Fallout. Yeah. the original Fallout was a bridge in my opinion CRPG it it, yeah. it, it was a CRPG in all in all but name okay yeah yeah well I feel I feel like I need I mean, to play it's... more of it. Just God damn it, nasty! <laughs> Sorry, it, stop talking I, over me. I feel like my delay is like just slightly off. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah, me too. <laughs> like we're both slightly delayed over each other, so we can't do it. Yeah. 
I'm just Some watching. Skype. He also stands for classic as well, and I mentioned I said that in the Twitch chat. Uh, I think it's interchangeable. Classic might be the more appropriate use. I just use computer from old hat terminology. It's probably inaccurate. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, also, it's. I mean, it is PC Gamers Game of the Year. So the people who who voted on it are probably basically a bunch of Wallies running the site. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is pretty much the staff of Giant Bomb at this point. Yeah. I think it's a bunch of thirty somethings. So, but uh, no, they have they have the new blood, the millennials in there. Oh, nice. Do you know I'm this technically year. a millennial by a year? I know. Me too. Is Wait, it a... starts super early though. It's like eighty two or something. Eighty one. Eighty one. Yeah. So I was born in like I missed it. I mean, I got in by like a, f- a handful of months. Oh. Well, are, are you ruining trying ruining to... everything? So I hope you're happy. <laughs> yeah, I avocado know. I'm, toast. I'm fucking ruining everything. No, I I feel like we got. I think the old millennials like me, we got away with fucking murder. Uh, you know, we're the last generation to maybe maybe possibly get stable jobs, in a house, and whatnot. And I'm still feeling the heat on like bills and debt and stuff. But at least I got in before the door shut. But that's a separate conversation. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, talk about how bad our country is right now. You know, millennials are just fucking it millennial all up. talk. Let's do a new segue for millennial talk. Uh, 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 millennial talk. That's gonna come home to roost on a mar- on us eventually. How much we've screwed the millennial generation. Yeah, it happens. Hey That's man, every every generation screwed us. us. Tr- yeah, well, yeah. Speaking of screwing up, uh, the FCC screwed up largely today in a lot of people's opinions. And killed net neutrality. At <gasps> title two, I should oh, say. No. I should clarify because net neutrality title one still exists. Mm-hmm. Oh, what's the difference? Um, basically, less government involvement um, with title one than there was with title two. And that will open up the opportunity for ISPs to have a lot more free reign in whatever they feel like doing. So, I uh, know a lot of people are upset about it. I don't, I don't know. I look at it this way. Like things are going to get fucked up either way. Um, we're not going to really ever be able to control it. We can do our best and such is life. <laughs> you sound like me. Yeah. I mean like, th- so, so it's title like, two, it's, it's whatever. There, there's going to be like 10 attorney generals suing this thing. The ACLU is going to sue this thing. There's I a mean, whole bunch of a- states jumping on board to sue yeah. them. Yeah, Which we're seeing a, a lot of pushback cool. at the at the municipal and state level. It is cool. We'll see if it, yeah. maybe it helps, but you know, because the Supreme Court is gonna fuck us if it goes to that, maybe. But right. So they repealed something that was put in place in 2015. Correct. Is that correct? Yep. By uh, Barack Hussein Obama, care. Yep. Yep. His yeah, his his administration, <laughs> his appointees, put that in. Yeah. So. I don't know when when I learned about that like was it really that bad before 2015? No, but it was it was the potential it was, it was getting there. Yeah, mainly because of Netflix and Hulu and the rise of streaming media um because the the, the main the the, the 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 internet providers were making well you know how it is right you know there's a cabal like there's a there's a spit in the handshake agreement between all the major telecoms that offer internet nationally sure. i won't yeah. it's like a mafia thing you know i won't go into the midwest if you don't come into the south and all over that shit and so they could set prices it's effectively monopolies yeah. and part of that is they started realizing that the content providers like netflix were driving more media consumption than, than their television which was used to be their bread and butter so it was a matter of time before they started recon reconfiguring their pricing scheme to address the fact that people are cutting cords and that would have been like you know pay ten dollars more for in your cable plan to be able to stream netflix content and that's what that regulation prevented from happening and now they're all swearing up and down they're not going to do this and they won't because all the eyes are on them but give it maybe a year or two or three maybe a, a mass maybe another good mass shooting or some you know congressional scandal and then when everyone's attention's diverted suddenly comcast is going to be offering a hulu netflix package where you for just you know just five ten dollars more you can get like you know un, you know all the bandwidth you want uh otherwise they might start you know throttling it 
Well, I, yeah. I like how a mass shooting is what's going to drive <laughs> internet prices up. I'm just real. I'm, also, just, no, 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 I'm just a real. It's also implying that, that Comcast is going to be behind the next mass shooting. Well, no, I'm just, I'm just behind the fact that attention. Americans have short attention spans. Uh, yeah, anyways, so what's your favorite cake? Is it chocolate or? <laughs> um, hmm. Sorry, this is a bad joke. Uh, <laughs> chocolate. Yes, Millpool, it's chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah? Chocolate. I like chocolate, too. Hey, what do you think Guido's doing right now? <laughs> uh, probably he's, uh, dead. Yeah? He's actually seeing Star Wars right now. Oh, that fucker. If we're gonna if we're gonna break down the fourth wall, which I just did. Breaking yeah. the fourth wall. Yeah. What happened to the first three? Um <laughs> Yeah, you laughed. I don't know. We couldn't <laughs> afford them, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we pull. Yeah. Uh, uh, we po? Oh you we know, just dial it back. Bitch. <laughs> Let's actually get to a point that's relevant to gaming before we close out on this. And the main concern now right I want to talk about what Guido's doing. Yes. right now main concern yes what do you think he's doing <laughs> probably shitting <laughs> in the name. movie theater well i thought he was dead he couldn't go to the movie theater uh, no i i killed that cannon oh oh, oh, oh okay sorry <laughs> um yeah okay i'm sorry no it's fine um have you guys got this humble bundles have you guys got Humble Bundles recently? You're jumping like, all the way to the Humble year? Bundle? <laughs> yeah. We're jumping all the way down to Humble Bundle. What do you want to talk about, Wally? No, yeah. no, I just it's just so far down. I, didn't, I was like, whoa! But yeah. no, that's cool. Yeah. I, I want to talk about the Humble Bundle. I want to talk yeah. about the Humble Bundle. Do you guys you buy? Guys, have list? you guys bought Humble Bundles recently? I guess. Let's start there. Uh, oh, there's... You know what? I saw one today. It's, uh, it's like a content creator's kind of Humble Bundle. Or like video production and audio production Humble what? Bundle. What? Really? Uh, for yeah, it's like thirty bucks, and you get Sony Vegas and a whole bunch of other programs. It looks pretty sweet. I'll have to go check it out. So yeah, because I wouldn't mind picking up some softwares to fuck around with for doing streaming type stuff like this, like the podcast. Yeah. Um, like, if I could get some better software to to control audio drivers, that would be a lifesaver for me, because Voice Meter just is not hacking it anymore. But no, I, me. voice meter is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, once you get it set up, like, it just I was hijacks. a hater before, but I can never go back. Yeah, it just hijacks everything, and it just makes me want yeah. to, like, not do anything. I had good onboard sound. It, it, I mean, I have a good motherboard, man, and it's like, I can't even use my onboard hardware anymore because voice meter literally just says, no, mine now, and I, I don't know how to untangle it. Yes. I don't know. Just don't run voice meter. <laughs> but I like it for the one thing it does. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, okay. Humble Bundle. Humble Bundle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that Yogg's Cast Humble Bundle. Like, it goes to charity yeah. and shit. You know, Dead Kids, the thing I had the idea for for when they die, we can buy their stuff. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and so, Sick Kids, then we'll soon be dead. Or maybe not, depending on how much the money helps. Yeah. But the games that are part of the bundle, I own a little bit of them. Same. But but the rest is kind of crap. I, I was yeah. Like, I don't know if I, I mean if it's like oh it's such a deal is it? Right. Mm. Well, it's for charity, and you oh, do fuck get charity. How many games is it? It's a lot of there's games. There's quite like a lot of games. Thirty games, thirty five games. I think there's. Is it thirty five? More than that. No, I Maybe think there's like that. forty to fifty even. I mean, there's a few gems in there. I'm not gonna lie, but like chainsaw work yeah i know Scrap garden no i know what you're yeah. talking about because painters I mean, guild i have so many games on steam and yeah like probably 50 percent of them are from humble bundle yep. and also many of them i've never played before same and then i look at this like this list of 40 games and like yeah there's some really good games in here but I already have a lot of games. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and most of them, honestly, that would be worth anything in that pack, I already own. You know, like, mm -hmm. uh, Guild Wars 2 is in here. I already bought that, like, five years ago when yep. we played it. Um, not that I would really want to pick it back There's up. There's one thing in there that I see that I want, and that's the Vermintide 2 beta key. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, but that's just beta. 
Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> At this point, isn't everything beta? Yeah. I feel like. But. So you'll have it for like three years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, Rust, own it. Dungeon of the Endless, own it. Gary's Mod, own it. And then there's a few other things. I mean, if you don't have chivalry, that's sure. worth yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, Gunpoint is a good game as well. Yeah, Gunpoint's excellent. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, a lot of these I've just never heard of. Wait, Star Trek Online? Uh, DLC. Yeah, Star Trek Online is still around, and that's DLC for Star Trek Online. Oh, it's DLC. It's a pack. <laughs> um. So the reason I ask is because I always do this thing where I buy a humble bundle for like two mm-hmm. games i yep. collect those keys and then mm-hmm. i forget that i have anything on humble bundle and then the next time a humble bundle comes across i buy another one for two games and it turns out mm-hmm. half the games that i bought this pack were in the last pack that i bought and i have now twice the amount of keys of games that i've never played and i don't <laughs> know what the fuck to do with them yeah do you guys have the same issue? um yeah i do yeah, well, uh, you know, if you go to hobobindle.com, their their competitor and our sponsor, you can get uh uh we will give you a bindle for every 5 games from humblebundle.com. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe we'll maybe we'll do something on our next 24-hour stream if we ever do yeah, one again. Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, yeah. I also have a bunch of keys that I should probably just give away. Right. Mm-hmm. Because I'm but sure yeah, it's um, I might hey, still I mean, do it for the keys, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't really say anything bad about this. It's thirty five dollars for a bunch of games, and a it all goes to charity. It does, it does. So, I think if you don't have half of these, they're worth getting. Yeah, it's cool. I think it's a good service. For sure. What cool. You guys, you guys uh, got anything else you want to talk about? Or you want to kick it in the voicemails? No, voicemails um, fine. Yeah. Uh, what are we at? Thirty five ish. Yeah, we can do voicemails, I guess. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, we kind of hammered out the big ticket stuff. Uh, I mean, we could talk about uh, how PUBG is doing shit on Xbox right now, and a lot of people and we just did. Off. So there you go. <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> it's, it's doing shit right now on Xbox. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I'm kind of surprised, honestly, that it's doing as bad as as it is. Really? I thought, yeah, I thought that they would have put a little bit more effort into making sure that it was going to run well on consoles. You know, I thought that developing for the Xbox was so close to developing for the PC that ports weren't going to be experiencing this kind of disparity of performance again. So it's right. it's, it's interesting on that note. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's weird. I, I think maybe part of the problem is that there's like two or three different Xboxes that they have to develop for now. Oh, uh, that's uh, true. Those there's at least cool. two. There's the X that uh, was released most recently, the which S. is a really powerful yeah. one. Yeah. Um, I did see some footage uh, of it running on both, actually. And on the X, it didn't look too bad. Um, it it ran pretty much as, as well as it runs on my computer, which is like my computer is in kind of old. It's an i5 uh, 970, so um not the best but it it's serviceable but i did i saw footage of it running on the just original xbox one and it it looked pretty rough so hmm. yeah there's been that. some backlash i think they're gonna have to do something about that but it is still in early access uh it's not being released on the xbox until 2018 okay hmm. so well i guess we can't complain too much then it's early access yeah. I'm enjoying it still, and I'm looking forward to playing the new map once it's finally on the public server, not the test server. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that game is officially releasing on the 20th, I think. I believe you're right. It will be 1.0. Next Wednesday? On PC. Yeah. Holy shit. They're releasing PUBG. Damn. Yeah, which is kind of weird. Because um, <laughs> we've been playing it for like a year. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, and and I mean, I guess they're updating it a fair how, amount with a new map and everything. But how the tables have turned, by the way, comparative to what just a handful of years ago, where the, you know the PC would be blessed with the charitable donation of a port of a, that was popular right. on the console. 
Yeah. And now they're getting our dirty seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> even, even look at like Fortnite came out on. Did it release for all at the same time? Or did I don't it, know for sure. I, think I have it came no idea. PC first, and then even if it didn't, over. their most successful like game saving feature was their PUBG like, you know, mod. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. yeah. So thank you again, PC gamers, for saving yeah. Fortnite in a way. Right. Yeah. Epic yeah. Games is like, uh, thank you. We'll take that. Um, okay. Well, the common that. denominator there is uh, those are both early access games. Mm. Which came out, I mean, which there was a marketplace for early access games on the PC. And that's, I guess, working its way onto the console. As these games are popular enough to mm. be released on a console. Although they're not completed yet, which is kind of a weird thing to think about. Right. Oh, well. Yep. All right. Good PUBG talk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I heard, no, we hey. have a lot of voicemails though, right? For like, Mil, did did you play our uh, game of the month this this week, this past week? <gasps> yeah, I did. What'd you I think? played episode one of Life is Strange. Are we allowed to like talk it? about it? I don't know if we. I are. mean, like, I just want. I'm not saying like specifics, but what do you think so far? Um, it's good. I like it. Um, I didn't know much about it before I started playing it. I didn't know that there was a time rewind mechanic in it even though that's why we chose it yeah <laughs> um but yeah it's cool uh it's it's good i think everyone should play it i would recommend it um the dialogue is kind of bad at times that's the only thing i would say against it 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 kind of comes off at times as like a japanese game that was like dubbed into english it's <laughs> like that level of awkward the writing's a little rough. So. Yeah, but well, it's good. Play it. Uh, the first episode is free, so. Oh, it is? Yeah, so you can play that for free. Nice. Well, uh, mm -hmm. I look forward to playing it in the coming weeks. I got to jump on that. Before I know it, it's going to be January. I know. It's already right, the you... 14th. Yeah, what do you guys say we do some voice miles? Okay. Let's do it. Um, uh. Force time. Yeah. Force time. Yeah. Uh. Nice, nice. I like that. I like that. All right, I'm just gonna kick us right now into our very, very first voicemail here. Coming right up. Right now. Mm. Maybe oh. not coming right up. Yesterday, I practiced Christmas caroling. So the question that I'm asking is what's your favorite song to sing? Ooh, opening with a little Spetty. Spetty Chino. Yeah, opening with Spetty. Wow, I like it. Uh, shit. I I was not listening because <laughs> I was just so taken over by the soothingness of his voice. Uh, yeah. You well, know, he asked us what our favorite song to sing is. Oh, favorite song to sing? Hey, I don't have a f particular single favorite. Um, does it have to be Christmas music? Uh, or no. Let's say no. Because no, he was singing a Beatles song. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Um, uh, geez, I don't know, man. I just like um, folk music, like sea shanties and pub music and stuff like that. Mm. Do you I like mean, it's, folk, like actual folk? Yeah, like 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 you know, you know, pub music, Irish and Scottish yeah, yeah, and yeah. Newfoundland, Newfoundland folk music. Yeah, that's awesome. Um. I guess I'm kind of like, there too. Like, oct like German music, like at Oktoberfest, is really fun for me to sing. I don't actually see, know that's it, fun. but I do my best to like sing along. Yeah, any kind of drinking songs and shit, that's fun. And then just anything like that, it's fun. Right, right. I like uh, just freestyling, you know, just going with the flow, like making up segues. Yeah, that's when I really get in the zone. <laughs> nice, nice. Just I let like it all out. Mm -hmm. Solid. 
All right. Uh, no, for karaoke, my go-to is, geez, I don't know, Linkin Park, maybe? Yeah, which which song of Linkin Park? <laughs> um, In the end? Yeah, In the end yeah. is good. Pretty much anything off of like their first two albums, I'll, I'll be down to sing. Yeah, they were definitely that the best or albums. Like, yeah, or some like Pearl Jam or something. Solid, solid. Mm-hmm. All right, next voicemail coming right up. Um, fuck. Any minute now. Hey, just okay gamers. It's B Reedy or Bradums. Just calling to remind you that I'm better at golf with your friends than Guido. All hail Overlord Millpool. Oh, damn. Some shit talk right there. Hey. You know, nice. I'm happy for that because it's always nice to know we have one person that can beat That was a really there. great voicemail. Thank yeah. you for the uh, high quality voicemail. Um, it was really good. That's all I have to say. <laughs> That's yep, all. I appreciate that too. Yeah. That's all that needs to be said. All right. Next voicemail. Come in right up. Thanks, be ready. Yo, fellas. Am I the only one that thinks Guido's gay? Wow. Well, sadly, no. I'm pretty sure he's not. In fact, I think we've had this discussion. Uh, I think if he was gay, he'd have a whole buffet to choose from <laughs> of uh, potential suitors, and I think you'd actually like that. Uh, but yeah. Because yeah, he's, he's kind of he's got that bear aesthetic going on, right? Yeah. As do I. That's and the I, conclusion I, we. Yeah. And I've I've gotten hit on more by the same gender than the opposing one, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I don't know. It's I'm cool with it. It's you know, it's not my thing. So yeah, the bear thing is strong. Uh they didn't even say yeah. who that was. Yeah. Uh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Another great <laughs> voicemail though. Keep them coming, guys. Yeah. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Keep them coming. All right, next voicemail. Coming right up. Hey guys. Uh it's Rick. I was wondering, do you guys still have that, um, like, underworld phone, like, where you could call the people that are dead? Because, like, you've, been, you've had, like, a lot of, like, going to a lot of people's funerals. I was just wondering if you still were able to communicate with them at all. Thank you very much. Do we have that? Sorry, I'm getting talked about. Um, yeah, uh, I, used to, I used to actually have one, too. But then Kevin Spacey, Spacey raped me. Fuck. Fuck! Ah! <laughs> Nice. Oh, nice. Uh, was he getting raped? In the no, apparently. Know, as it was happening. Like, oh, no. Kevin Spacey. Why? Real time raping. Uh, yeah, we do still have that phone. Um, who do you guys want to call? Who's Ghost- died recently? Ghostbusters? Um. <laughs> oh, well, uh, yeah, that one guy did die. What's his name? Uh, Harold something. Uh, I've never uh, seen Ghostbusters. Wally, help me out. Oh, but, oh the uh, Hera, Harold Ramis. Ramis. Ra- Ramis. Yeah, he's yeah. dead. Do you want to call him? He died like a few years ago, I think. I don't know what he sounds like. I don't know what he sounds like either. All right, let's give him a call. Yeah, okay. Right, on the it. ghost phone. Yeah, on the All ghost. Right, give him a former Ghostbuster a call on the ghost. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, wow. Hello. I was just calling you and you answered. That's so weird. Uh, is this Harold Ramis? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Okay. Uh, how is the afterlife? Wonderful. <laughs> All right, great. What's your favorite thing about the afterlife? It's so quiet. Fair enough, I guess. Okay. I, I think that I would, I would think it would be, you know, loud. People are dead, living their life now. Who's who's the next person who's gonna die? Do you know that? Is there like is it posted somewhere? Yes, there's a chart and everything. Oh, who is it? Bill Clinton. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, That's Jesus. all we need to know. Thanks for talking to us, Harold. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> uh, uh, fucking quality guys. Yeah. That that Harold, the uh, quality guest, best guest I think <laughs> we've had <laughs> since <laughs> Halloween. I forgot he sounded like that, though. Yeah. You know, death does some things to the vocal cords. You don't sound like right, yourself. Right, yeah. Either. Fair enough, fair enough. Plus, I also think, you know, that, like, uh, when when people act, you kind of forget who they are and what you they know, sound like. Guido right, says, yeah. I do a mean Alex Jones. Mm, do you? Oh, really? Yeah, because there's a <laughs> video no of idea. him accusing an, uh, him, like, interviewing an Alexa device and, like, aggressively questioning it. 
yeah. And I really liked it. And I was doing it, and I was like, Alexa! <laughs> yeah. It kind of Are you like spying it. on me? Alexa! <laughs> Who programmed you? Make the freaking frogs gay! And that kind of thing. <laughs> So I think we're going to have an Alex Jones visit. Yeah, we're going to have Alex Jones uh, on the podcast. Yeah, we'll do our best to get him in, I guess, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Next voicemail coming right up. Hey, guys. It's Guy I'm um, just kind of wondering what your first memory of Guido is. Mm. All right. Have a good podcast. First memory of Guido, huh? Wow, that's a good question. I don't um, think we've actually had this one before. No, I don't think so. There's been a lot of like, how did you meet, but not first memory. Right. Hmm. Man. Um, the first memory I can think of was uh, at a LAN party um, in Toronto, I think. I believe. Uh, I don't know if it was the first time I met him, but we were in a clan together, online clan, and we... We're at this LAN party, and um, I think, like, him and uh, another guy uh, brought weed, and I Holy. went to – yeah, I didn't want to <laughs> drop any names. But, uh, yeah, I went to smoke weed with him, or maybe I brought weed. I don't remember. Smoke weed. Uh, I think you did, actually. But... Yeah, it might have been me. Um, and we smoked weed together, and then I think we walked to, like, a gas station or something. Uh, and then I went back downstairs and Louie had like Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 running on his computer. <laughs> and I, Great game. Uh, just, yeah, it was. And I, I don't think I'd, I'd played it yet. So I just like started playing it on his computer and then he came down and he, he was kind of upset at me, which looking <laughs> back, like it's understandable because I was just using his computer without his consent. <laughs> just but, jump on. That was back when you had that. Yeah. Um, that Dell still, that Alienware Dell. Yeah. I think it was awesome. that it? Yeah, I guess I did <laughs> no. have that at that time. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, man, Alienware, uh, it was overpriced, but they made a, a good product. They did, and it was all in one. Back when PCs weren't as nice to build as they are today, for sure. No, absolutely. Yeah. I, I remember I brought the uh, an LCD monitor to that con, and Mansa mm -hmm. was like, oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, that's really yeah, cool. that was a big deal back yeah. in the day. You kids today don't understand. <laughs> we had to lug around these fucking thirty pound <laughs> fucking we did. monitors. We did. We did. We lugged parties. them, motherfucker. We did. Yeah, <laughs> on top of a giant fucking case too. You know, oh, like, nothing was small. No, nothing. A good full nothing. size case was what you needed if you wanted something decent. Yeah, my, uh, my memory of Guido's a bit more intangible because like millpool we were just kind of around each other during clan rangers period you know uh but like mine's more of like a collection of memories because he always made me laugh because i think we had you know much like the rest of us we all had the same sense of humor and he'd make these wry observations and or i'd make i'd say something stupid and we'd laugh and i just laughed all the time and he, one time he's like what the hell's wrong with you because <laughs> it was just laughing so hard and th that's kind of my first real impression of not really a memory of guido my first real memory of guido probably would be uh when he he walked into the ranger con and he was bellowing something out about cigars and pussy <laughs> sounds yeah. and, and, sounds and, like something like, you'd say yeah and let's all go to the club or something like that and it was really funny it was it was, a, it was really doing poker we're gonna get ready for poker in the garage of, of Luke's house. Going to strip but, club uh, or what? Yeah, he wanted to go. To, he wanted to finish something about a strip club in Toronto, and just that phrase was funny. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go find a strip club in Toronto. Yeah, for sure. I I, I remember actually the first uh, land party where me and Guido kind of bonded a little bit. At least I felt like we did. I think we were sitting next to each other and we were just joking around a bunch. And I started realizing, like, oh, this guy's really funny. I oh, um, yeah, funny. You're funny. Because I'd never really talked to him a lot before. Because I think back in the day, Guido was kind of like aloof from the clan. Maybe he was. Or maybe a little that's bit. just my memory. 
Well, that was his guy's house period. So like in between yeah, he was stuff and setting things on fire, he was doing clan rangers lands with us. Yeah. Sure. Uh, wait, we sat beside each other and we joked around and stuff. <laughs> he called me weird. <laughs> he just he called like, me turned, weird. Turned next, turned, turned to me and he's like, "You're kind of weird." <laughs> but it was it was also kind of endearing. Yeah. yeah. His first words to me, like when we first started getting to know him, was, "What the hell's wrong with you?" <laughs> yeah. I, kept, I kept on laughing at everything. It's uh, just this weird kind of wry sense of humor to everything. Yeah, I feel like the Rangers at that time though was also at a different place, right? Like there wasn't, well, gaming in general was at a different place. Like he used it a was. lot of message boards and a lot of chat talk versus like voice chat nope. like we have now. Yeah, it was uh, it was like a hundred percent. Uh, no, no what was voice our voice chat. chat program like back in the day? Like we were doing like you know, uh, CS Office and shit, and like Prodigy. Oh like, god, what, I don't remember. Did we use that? anything? Did we just talk to the Steam interface, or did we use a program? <laughs> I honestly don't remember. I don't. Mine was always Ventrilo. Yeah, Ventrilo is like the earliest one. I yeah, it remember. was. It was the first structured one we had. I think was Ventrilo. Right. Yeah, that was back when we were still using MIRC and shit to chat with each other. Yeah. Yeah, Merc chat. Hashtag Rangers on Game Surge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my first right, memory nice of, of Guido was uh, when I was sitting in the break room where we worked, and I walked in, and this guy walks in, and he's just like this big, big dude, and he walks in like he owns the place, and he starts yelling at one of the guys, and I was just like, wow, that guy's a fucking asshole. Like, and he just walked into the office. That was pretty much it. <laughs> he didn't actually yell at anybody we don't never yell at anybody when i worked with him he's like the yeah. nicest boss ever it kind of surprised me <laughs> guido is the I'm epitome like, wow. of i'm not angry i'm just disappointed not even right. it's just like uh i would hope that me asking you to do something as your boss <laughs> means that you're gonna go do it like otherwise i i'll just tell you to do it again you know like i don't know <laughs> His managing style is the exasperated sigh. Yeah, right? Like, all right, this is my list of things for you to do. Okay, yeah. go go, go do them. Like, I don't have anything else to say to you. What did you think when he invited you to a LAN party? Were you weirded out uh, or how did that no, go? No, because we played a lot of League. when So him and I first bonded over League at work, and then I started playing a lot with – uh some of the Rangers at like after work when we would get off because we would both work the second shift during summer and get off at 10 o'clock together. So it was always one of those like we would work late together, get off late, and then I would just go play games after I got off of work with him and everybody else because I was really into league. So and then I started that first con I came to, I did nothing but played league and and Diablo 3 I think because I had my Mac and those were the only things that I had installed and I just remember it was the worst experience ever and I sat next to Karsis and played whatever <laughs> that fucking uh, space game is that he likes to play for like fucking seven hours uh, and he's like what was that Artemis? I don't know no not the not uh, not Artemis not the space bridge game it was oh like, Sins of the Solar Empire yes yeah <laughs> Yeah, you we got played sucked for like, into that, dude. We we played from like six at night to like four in the morning one day, and we we're the last. Oh, what a up, regret! He's like, I regret everything about that game, dude. And then he was like, "So, uh, we're gonna play again tomorrow," and I was just like, "Ah, uh, <laughs> I, I gotta go. I don't know. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta get out of here." <laughs> so I did my best, to like avoid him, but I was sitting next to him, so I couldn't avoid him. Uh, but yeah. All right. Cool. Next voicemail. Hey, Just Okay Gamers voicemail. It's Bobby. I was wondering, uh, what, what uh, TV shows are you guys watching now that you really like? Like, what would you recommend? TV is pretty good. Thanks. Bye. Wow. Mm. Wow. Just wow. That's all I have to say about Bobby. <laughs> hey, man, that, was, that wasn't too bad. He at least uh, asked a question. He yeah, did ask a question. The discernible answer. A coherent question, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, TV's pretty good. He is correct. 
Um, are you guys watching anything? I just picked something up this evening that I started watching with Rachel that I cut short to come record. Yeah, I'm watching something I like right now. What, what are you watching? It, in fact, I binge watched the marvelous Miss Maisel, Mrs. Maisel on Amazon. Okay. It's okay. really fucking funny. It's really good. Mill. Um, I'm not really watching anything right now. I watch YouTube. That's what I watch. Yeah. What are your favorite channels on YouTube then? Uh, right now I'm watching this guy called uh, Lazy Game Reviews, and he reviews a lot of old computer hardware and old computer games. Nice. Uh, he's pretty good. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Um, I am finishing up season three of Mr. Robot on Amazon. Um, and then we just started watching Mind Hunters on Netflix tonight. Oh, that's really good. That's what I heard. It seems it's good. Really like good. I, I'd, I'd cut it too close to you know come record the podcast. I was like, I just want to finish this episode, but I had like thirty minutes left, so I said, "Fuck it." Um, yeah. Hey. Cool right. TV. Cool TV. Yeah, it's good. All right, next voicemail. Hey guys, it's Flame Knight Fifty Five. Um, I was just gonna ask for for once a serious question. Uh, I've been trying to stream a lot more lately, but it seems that my internet, even though it has like a three point five upload speed, seems to just not be able to handle a seventeen hundred bit rate or anything like that when I try to set the settings on OBS and things. So. Uh, but I use my cell phone as a, uh, kind of like a tether. So that's what I use for my internet through, uh, this wonderful app called PDA net, but that doesn't matter anyway. Uh, my question for you guys is, is that what kind of internet do you guys use? I know that I was looking at one of Guido's streams, the one where he was playing league and he was getting like 17, uh, ping. And I was just wondering how in the world do these people get these such low pings because 17 ping for me where i live is just unheard of so anyway your thoughts questions not questions really but your thoughts and comments very very appreciated have a nice podcast flame night <laughs> thanks flame night our yeah. questions you want to ask you us us to ask you a question um um, Why you got so many dogs in the background? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, he works at a, a dog thing or something. Yeah, for sure. Um, the 17 ping is definitely just because of server location, because we're lucky enough to live in Milwaukee, and all the servers for League are now in Chicago. But we yeah, were the, at like 40 ping when they were out in California. Yeah, right. Um, uh Wait, what was his question though? Because he like he's... started talking about OBS and then he started <laughs> talking about league. Yeah, uh, he wants help. Uh, I, I I don't know. There's a lot of things that go into streaming. Um, I would say tethering from a cell phone is probably not gonna be very viable to stream through. Uh, just me. yeah, that's. I'm guessing that's your problem. There. <laughs> yeah, e- Ethernet first. Um, and try yeah. to find something that has at least one meg up preferably three plus up if you're going to be doing anything heavy over 720 agree right yeah i have a i i think i have like five up it's you know not much but it's enough and guido has uh fiber so he has like uh 1000 up 1000 down or something like that i think yeah i got five up as well i don't seem to have any issues my biggest issues were always like just setting up twitch like trying to get the settings right to agree with Twitch and all that type of stuff. But there's plenty of stuff on Twitch's uh, subreddit if you ever need help with that type of stuff. Yep. All right. Next voice voicemail. Hey, guys. This is Niggle Boots. Um, what is your least favorite quality about Guido? Thanks. <laughs> wow. Least favorite mm. I think it's the fact that he's too perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a job that. interview. Yeah. What are your What are your weaknesses? Yeah, I'm too perfect. Um, I don't know. 
Um, I would say that he's got a bigger dick than I do. Like, I'm really jealous about that. <laughs> I, just really, I, I mean, like, my soul hurts because I'm in such self-loathing about my wiener not being adequate enough when I compare it to his. Wait, Nasty, you got to turn off your, we're coming through again. Oh, fuck, thing. my bad. I forgot to turn that off. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Um, Jeez, what don't I like about Guido? Um, <laughs> cricket, yeah, you're cricket, the, cricket, cricket, cricket. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Tell us, Millpool. Yeah, tell oh, us. Man. Tell us what your tell least us. favorite thing is. Mm. About tell Guido. us. Tell us. I don't know. Guido's a good guy. I can't really think of a lot of things. Wow. To be honest. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty okay. Just okay. Um. Nah, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> just all around piece of shit. Yeah, just all around human garbage. Yeah. He's. I mean, hey, we're doing a pretty good job here. I think. Yeah. I actually think he, I'm starting to think he might be holding us back. Yeah, I think so too. We should just cut the weight and. Uh... Wait, are we talking about getting rid of him or like murdering him? Uh, it's. I mean, that's kind of the same thing, isn't yeah. it? We got to make him disappear, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Next voicemail. Hi, guys. It's Tobot. Um, I'm Rain. Just to let you know that down with the Guido, the man's not in, so all hell's breaking loose, and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, <laughs> I'm supposed to say a question, so I'll make one up on the spot. Uh, I'll go for what do you have you ever used a handkerchief I don't know just go with it peace love you all apart from Guido because he's a piece of shit but <laughs> I, I think he's alright see you in a bit guys Tomo! oh shit uh, a hanky huh you I, guys ever use a hanky <laughs> um no, I, not an official handkerchief. I've used like napkins or Kleenex. I have a philosophical problem yeah. with handkerchiefs. Oh yeah, what's I, that? I I don't want to use them again. <laughs> right? Like... I, I, I I don't I don't understand. I, mean, I understand like the oh god, here's an emergency. Here's a handkerchief. Oh thank god, that's what it's for. It's like a it's right. a gentleman's relief from the sudden inconvenience of snot. But I don't want that on my person after I've used it. And I have no intention of using it again. So just have right. a Kleenex or two on you, okay? I don't care if it makes me a trash person or something. But, ugh. Uh, Wally, can I ask you another question in the same vein? Yes. Do you use washcloths or paper towels to clean with? Paper towels. Is it the same thing? Washcloth is, in my mind, something Wait, to clean is, with? Yeah. To clean what with? Like countertops and, you know, like when you're doing cleaning, uh, like your windows. I dry, I dry with a towel, you know, like a true gentleman. I don't wash with a towel. I I, I use a paper towel. I mean, like, a, like an actual fabric item. I dry with fabric. Right. And I wash with paper. Right, right. Washcloths are for washing your body, right? Well, I mean. That's I, my understanding of a washcloth. I've also used them for, like, cleaning. You know, like, when you're cleaning your windows, it works better if you use a cloth. Okay, that's different. Clean that's your a microfiber with. towel. Or just, you know, like a t-shirt. That works, too. Well, yeah, a, deck, a nice, you know, yeah, okay. Just like cut a up jersey, an old t-shirt or something. An old jersey you know? cloth or something. Or sure. newspaper. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's supposed to work pretty well for that, too. Right, it's right, right. thing that nobody knows about me, but I'm a huge car detailing, like, fanatic. Yeah? So I have, like, I have, like, two dozen microfiber cloths in my trunk along with like you know turtle wax and god knows what else <laughs> so i i'm a huge believer of microfiber cloths for that purpose solid but in the yeah. kitchen paper towel yeah okay i, I use uh well i have dish cloths in the kitchen mm -hmm. but i need paper towels around for stuff i can't live without paper towels yeah fair enough um i don't use handkerchiefs my grandfather father does 
I don't know how because I'm with you, Wally. That just feels gross if you're going to blow your nose and stick it back in your pocket. Yeah. Oh, it's with you then. And then you have to wash it. I don't want to wash that. You want to put like, oh, here, here's this willfully known about snot filled shit cloth. And I'm going to throw it in my laundry with everything else. <laughs> right. And then hope that it gets clean and, oh, not actually put any of that on my clothing. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Jeez. You know, that, actually, that dovetails into another question that's kind of grosser. Yeah. Involving um, penile excretions. Yeah. And jizz. fabric versus cloth. Yeah. like And a towel. I, nice. Like a cl- talking about cum. Yeah, like cleaning up jizz with cum. I'm just saying, yeah. like, people. Some I've when I in my my salad days of 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 coming, as it were, uh, when I was a single lad and porn was copious in the internet. Uh, so now, I used paper products. Well, you know, I mean, every you know, it's whatever, still copious. Paper, so the FCC came along. Paper oh, products. Oh yes, yeah, net neutrality right there. Porn. Be, porn lobby is going to be huge going into the next election cycle. Oh, yeah. Uh, but like, you know, I some I've always heard stories about people using like socks and shit and whatnot. Yeah. And I just thought that was well, gross because like, how are you gonna clean that? You're gonna you know you're gonna put that in your washer and dryer like. Valid. I, oh God, I mean you got cum swirling around with the rest of your. I mean unless you do a, a single load of just cum clothes, yeah. which is just like you know which is like one sock and cum twirling around in a, on like a low setting with high heat. <laughs> Which is also equally disgusting. I mean, like, <laughs> it's like so. It's like who does that? Like use a tissue, like a goddamn human being just, for anything. I, I don't know. Just, I, you're I, supposed to use you're supposed to use cold water to get come out. I think because well, the warm water, yeah, the warm water like makes it coagulate or something. What? I, I, I don't yeah. know. Okay. Like, Good if to a know. Girl, or if anyone is washing it out of their hair, you're supposed to wash it out with cold water. Yeah. Oh. That's okay. A that happened before, tip. Bill? Um, no, not to me, but uh, <laughs> I don't know where I learned that. Probably that seems, on the internet or somewhere. Yeah, I was going to say, that seems pretty specific to not know it from some random <laughs> thing. It's just, uh, yeah. So, yeah, anyway, that's my other salient point there. It's like I, it's like the inverse situation with cum, you know, I just yeah. paper versus cloth because then you have to clean it. That's right. the same philosophy with, like, you know, cleaning the handkerchief. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, ew, no. No, I'm just yeah, imagining, just like. Come into that handkerchief. <laughs> I'm imagining, like, a mini washer, like, how many, like, mini short fridges are, like, wine fridges. Like, that size for a washer just for cleaning, like, cum clothes <laughs> and, like, handkerchiefs. Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> you just have you know, a tiny washer wonder, in your like, room. Yeah. You bring a girl over and she's like, why is that there? <laughs> oh, you'll find out later. Yeah. You see, now I'm thinking about like you know back in like the 20s and shit, like in when when the having a handkerchief was normal. Yeah. Did guys, did guys jizz in their handkerchief? Like, a, you uh, know, if you really had to crank one out like in the bathroom or something, and all you had was yeah, that probably. Because you just, think about all these. Co- I don't know, jizz wherever. <laughs> what did they what? Did, like? What into their hands? Or it was the, the wild like, 20s. What? They just shot their jizz wherever. <laughs> This, this one's going against the wall. <laughs> uh, I don't Let's know. See yeah. if I can hit the ceiling. Maybe they went to the bathroom to do it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Well, yeah, porn I mean, wasn't as rapid. Like, you know, like there wasn't any porn back then. So you just found a there person. There was porn. There was no, there porn. Was, there was porn, but you just had to be very, like, religiously devoted to the porn you had. Like, you had, like, five trading cards of, like, scantily clad woman. And that's the same woman you would be jacking off to forever because it wasn't exactly growing on trees. But it was there. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. One of my more fun history classes. <laughs> Porn, Porn history? No, no, yeah, well, it was, it was deviancy uh, in America at the turn of the century. But yeah, porn's a huge part of it. Solid. All right, next voicemail. <laughs> hey, this is Bombhab. Love you, love you, show. What's your favorite kind of cheese? My favorite is the. Was that a child? <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, right in the, there was a right child in the middle of that. Yeah, I thought it was a cat, but it's, it probably was a child. 
He's yeah. just groaning in front of his kids at this point. <laughs> hey, man, they got to learn at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, favorite cheese? Favorite kind of cheese? Munster, um, for sure. Munster's phenomenal cheese. That and provolone. Yeah, provolone's good. I like a good Swiss. A good mozzarella. I can't get behind Swiss. It's too weird. Unless it's in a sandwich, then it's okay. Mm, I love it. How do you guys feel about blue cheese? Oh, I love it. Yeah, mm-hmm. bring on the fungus or whatever. I think it's great. I can do it in small amounts, in like a salad or. What something. don't you like about it? Oh, it's just the very sharpness? pungent. Yeah, yeah, it's very pungent. Yeah. Have you had I like pungent cheese. Oh. Mm. Um, I'm not sure. What is? Try it out. It's like a mild okay. blue cheese. It's not as. Pungent. I get like a. I like getting a few like uh, slices of gorgonzola, like wedge of gorgonzola with some uh, dry French bread and some wine. Mm. Oh, mm, good night. Yeah. Gorgonzola <laughs> is a good like alternative to blue cheese on salads, too, if, if people don't really like the pungentness of blue cheese. Good to know. Cheese talk. So, cheese talk. Oh, uh, I actually realized we still have one last voicemail. I fucked it up. Fired up. That's fine. Cue it up. Hey guys, it's Guido, and as you know, Fuck. I'm not there this week. So, uh, knowing that it's going to be pretty much a horrible episode, I thought I'd help as much as I could. So, I'm going to just record a few audio cues that you guys can kind of just, uh, you know, splice in there as as you go, and it'll help you progress the podcast a little bit easier. So, uh, we'll start at the beginning. You're listening to Just Okay Gamers, where this week... Kill this. Thanks for listening to episode 236... <laughs> 236 of the Just Okay Gamers podcast. My name's Absent Guido, and I'm here with... So, what do you guys think about uh, this uh, net neutrality thing, huh? That's pretty <laughs> weird. It's been a while. Hey, you guys remember that movie Powder? Man, that guy sure was white, huh? <laughs> Man, that new game? You guys play that? I hate it. Oh, boy. What a bad, <laughs> bad game. Millpool, why don't you just fucking end it already? Just get it over with and kill yourself. In fact, here, I'll do it for you. All right, what do you guys think? You want to do some voice moils? And now it's time for my favorite segment, Listener of the Week. You can be Listener of the Week by leaving a review on iTunes. That's right. We're getting low, so I'm going to have to go and uh, do some bad things to people. Also, fuck you, Millpool. All right. Good show, guys. We'll see you all next week. Bye-bye. Just let us go home. Yeah, I, I wish I would have screened <laughs> so the voicemails a little bit. I know. Then I would have at that. least known what to say, like throughout the beginning where we really stumbled over ourselves. Uh, you could have used it. <laughs> also, the 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 bullet came through the voicemail. I just barely missed it. It hit yeah. me in the shoulder. I don't know how he did that. <laughs> just grazed wow. you. Yeah. It conjured the bullet. Yeah. There's not even a gun here. Uh yeah, but seriously, fuck you, Guido. Yeah, fuck you, Guido. <laughs> uh, all right. Speaking of, what do you say we do a little bit of uh, my favorite uh, segment now that Guido's gone? It has to be my favorite segment. <laughs> Contractually. Yeah. Uh, a little segment that I like to call Listener of the Week. <laughs> Yo, listener of the week now, he's gonna be real sweet now. <laughs> it's listener of the week. Yeah. Uh, this week's listener of the week is Froyletia from the U.S. of A. And Froyletia leaves us a five-star review, and it is titled... A dong any longer than King Kong's is wrong. Ooh, nice. And their view is as follows. Hey, Just Okay Gamer crew. Froll here. 
I've been a long time listener slash lurker on your podcast and finally decided to give you the, the recognition you deserve. These guys make my Fridays at work a hundred times better. The synergy between the four of them is amazing and the banter is top notch. As long as you're okay with it being a little dirty. <laughs> I've been dealing with my heart problems for years now and had just had surgery. It's been rough on me, but these guys never fail to make me laugh no matter how down I am. This podcast is a gem in the rough. I highly recommend you check it out if you need a good laugh. I know this review doesn't say much about the podcast itself, but I can't talk about it without saying how great these guys are. Their personalities make the podcast. They could talk about anything. Keep it up. Keep up the great work, friends. Thanks, Froll. You yeah. are a listener of the week. <laughs> Yo, listener of the week now, he's gonna be real sweet now. <laughs> it's listener of the week. Yeah. 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 That's harder than it seems. So, uh, uh, we gem in the rough? Yeah, a gem in the rough. I think that's actually better because it turns out that, you know, diamonds are really have an inflated value. <laughs> yeah. And they aren't forever Which, either. Yeah. Are, di- aren't, are diamonds gems or no? Yeah, I guess by default. They're precious stones. Mm. Yeah. Have you have you ever been to a, a gem mine? No. <laughs> no. Have you? Yeah, I have when I was in Thailand. Oh, really? Yeah, there was a ruby mine. Oh, sweet, man. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was just slave labor, and I bought all the cheap rubies and brought them home. Was it really? Uh, yeah. I mean, there was just. I mean, it wasn't like slave labor, slave labor, but it just looked like any other, you know, mine. If you've seen a mine, just people there bringing things out, and then other people like processing them. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, hmm. it was pretty. Cool. The only mine I've been to is a nickel mine oh. in uh, Sudbury, Ontario. They, nice. I guess they export a lot of nickel. No. But there were like people actively working or anything. I mean, it was just like a tour kind of thing. Yeah. I um, I uh, I, I went to a marble quarry, but that's not quite the same thing. No, why not? Because they just cut well, slabs out of a wall, essentially. Yeah. Instead they, of like, I mean, it's very impressive up. to see like an unbroken like sheath of marble just kind of come down but yeah Mm -hmm. right all right cool how do you guys think we did gem talk gem talk uh pretty good i think there's a few parts uh that i'm gonna edit but otherwise yeah some bad parts no just some silence i think that i need to cut out fair enough fair enough uh, I, I guess I should plug us out then, huh? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Uh, Nasty, you want to plug us out? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, if you guys want to check us out, go to justokgamers.com. On the right side, you can find links to all of our social media, as well as a link to our Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash justokgamers is how you guys can support the podcast. Also, like Guido said, leave us a review on iTunes. Uh, we have a couple left, but we are getting low. And, you know, you don't want Guido to come yell at everybody again because he's kind of an asshole. Um, But if you guys want, you can come join us on Discord, discord.gg slash justokgamers. Or come check us out when we're streaming, twitch.tv slash justokgamers. We try to make it on there uh, Sunday through Thursday. Podcasts are live on Thursday. Um, And we will be doing uh, the game of the month, I believe, in two weeks. So come stop by for that one so that way you can actually participate um yeah yeah and uh next week i think there's gonna be a a movie podcast with biggie discussing the new the new star wars on wednesday so keep an eye out for that on uh just okay extras on itunes Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. should be good awesome well guys i think that's a podcast yeah we it's a wrap that's it Holy fuck, let's get, we made let's get it. get out of this, this movie we theater. It. We it was the funny. Yeah. Yeah. We've just been it staring at this FCC logo the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we refuse to pay. <laughs> no, Nobody they won't left. start the movie until anyone everyone pays. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but we are the last people in here. <laughs> and we won't leave. else gave up. I'd probably give up, too. I mean, like... I made I the chair of four-fours death. I made the chair of four chairs over my toilet. 
so I don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> oh, that's what that smell is. <laughs> oh yeah, jeez. I make proud. Ugh. Mm. Hey, do you guys want to do uh, end of the podcast segue exclusive, never been done before? End the podcast exclusive. Sure, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's g- give me a beat. Uh, it's the end of the podcast. podcast. End of the podcast. podcast. End of the podcast. podcast. It's the end of the podcast. podcast. Fuck Guido. End of the podcast. Fuck Guido. <laughs> All right, nice. Nice. I I realized like halfway through that mill that I needed to go way earlier.